Hey, what's up, YouTube? Donovan the Smartphone Guy here to do a quick video review of the Easy SMX Gaming Headphones. And uh, these are headphones that I've been using for uh, about two weeks now. And I uh, just wanted to share my thoughts on uh, the headphones and my usage so far. Um, so real quick, one thing I want to mention is a uh, funny thing on the box. Uh, first thing I noticed was that they spelled features wrong, but hey, you know, Whatever, it is what it is. Let's talk about the actual headphones. So they have uh, 50 millimeter drivers, um, so pretty good drivers in terms of uh, the sound quality. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed the sound quality so far. Um, that's really all I'm going to mention in here. Not a whole lot to mention uh, unless you're real familiar with that stuff. But I will mention that the microphone that is on the headphones is omnidirectional, which means it will pick up stuff. Um, that uh, is going on outside of the room, but it definitely picks up your voice a whole lot better than everything else. So you can see here that they have a ton of cushioning here, and these are incredibly comfortable to wear. I've been using them actually as uh, voice over IP headphones. So I make a lot of phone calls for my job, and I work at home uh, sometimes, and so I will use these when I'm making those phone calls, and they've worked out really well for that. Um, you can see here that they have the uh, logo there of a horse kind of lit up on the side. Super laser gaming headset for professional players. All right, so they pretty they hype them up pretty well. Um, so same thing over here, we got another logo on that side. And you can see also that the microphone, of course, lights up. And uh, anything else to mention? Uh, I will mention that they aren't noise canceling. You can see that they're kind of open on the sides. Um, so you will hear some things on the outside. And uh, another thing to mention that's probably quite important is this little button right here. So this actually will give you feedback. Um, so you'll actually feel the music, which is kind of cool. Um, when you have it turned off, honestly, the sound quality isn't as good. Um, it almost dampens the sound quality when this is turned off. So I definitely recommend if you're going to use these headphones, definitely use that feedback option that they have because um, it does improve the sound quality significantly. It does give you a little bit of vibration in your ears, which is kind of cool. You can actually feel the bass, um, which is what I like um, there. And that's pretty cool. And then we also have a little volume control here as well. So that is a volume control for the headphones, not a volume control for the microphone. So there is no volume control anywhere on these headphones um, for uh, the microphone. So that's something you're going to have to adjust on your computer. You can't mute them. That's probably a negative as well. Um, or at least that I know of, you can't mute them. Um, so those are the only two options you have. You have the volume up and down rocker here, and you have that haptic feedback button there as well. Um, but yeah, so no mute button, which is probably... Uh, that's a big one for a lot of gamers, I know. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the... Um, what, how they connect. But I have them unplugged. You can see here that they have the option of plugging in the headphone and the microphone separately. So you do have that option. Or you can plug this in and put it all in one. So that is an option in case your computer has the older standard where you um, have to use two separate connectors. And then they have the USB. So the USB is what's going to allow this to light up. Um, and that's about it. There's really not a whole lot to say about these, except that they are very, very comfortable. Um, the microphone works very well. Um, you're going to see a little video where I give you a little sample of the microphone. And uh, other than that, sound quality is quite good. Again, you're going to need that button turned on, I feel like, in order to get the best sound quality. Another thing I should mention is that I found that when I had this turned off that for some reason the left earphone was louder than the right but when you have it turned on they're equal so it's kind of a strange scenario um, but overall um, I like the headphones there's a few minor um, issues that you know I think should be corrected especially the the whole having that turned off in the left my uh, headphone being louder than the right kind of a weird situation um, but overall good headphones few things that they're lacking, but overall I give them a four out of five, we'll say maybe a three and a half to four out of five. Um, but thank you Easy SMX for supplying these for me. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace. All right. So these are the headphones, the Easy SMX. You can see here that we got our logo over here. 
and another logo over here. And uh, we're currently using the microphone here, so that's why it's lit up all red for you. I'm just kind of checking out the sound quality, and I'm going to tap a little bit on my table here just to see how much it uh, takes in in terms of the outside noise. So let me know what you think.